Alright, the goal today, guys, is to get out there on the lake and see if we can't catch a couple catfish. Or a nice catfish, whichever. And uh, we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook video for you guys. Got to get primed up. Alright, guys, so let's hit that water. Stay tuned. We're going to see if we can't find old Mr. Whiskers. actual fish caught in the video upon further inspection it had some a lot of red dots on its side probably had parasites in the meat if you've ever seen that when you've cleaned the fish the little white worms that get in the meat itself so we got released this one is a, a female that miss complainer caught shortly after so we're going to finish this video with that a nice healthy female pretty good size I'd say it's about uh, we didn't get a weight on it. it's about four pounds yeah we've had a lot of flooding so we only caught two fish tonight no big deal it was only out a few hours something to get the uh, just get some time be out uh, relaxing just gonna start right here on the top. I'm just gonna use a standard fillet knife for this one. A friend of mine made that. Richard from UTE, UTE Creek Custom Knives. How did he make that for me? Been about 10 years ago, probably. I haven't used it a lot. Trying to just keep it uh, up in the cabinet. It's a nice old memento. All right, I'm just going right along the ribs. You can feel the bone in there. Cut down right up to the back of the head. Right down onto the ribs. I 
usually use an electric fillet knife for this. It's way quicker. But for all intents and purposes, I thought I'd do it the old-fashioned way. It helps to do it once in a while so you don't forget. Just trying to stay right on the bone. Until we get right down to the belly here. Now, I'm just going to lay that like that. I'll try to hug the spine. Go right down to the tail where you almost cut out of it and then stop. Now, I did cut the uh, gills on this fish earlier. So it bled out, got a lot of the blood out, so it's not quite so messy. All right, then just take my knife and push it down there. Flex the blade along that skin and just kind of, very sharp knife helps in this situation. Yeah, I could do it faster, I just don't want to mess nothing up, so. Hold on to that skin. A little tension. Ah, look at there. Nice fillet. Alright, now we're just going to do the same thing. You get the idea. I haven't done a catch cook catch clean and cook video uh, do a lot of catfishing so I thought I'd make one of these all right so we're just going to do the same thing Alright, so we got to try to keep the mess down here just to keep the video nice and clean. Uh, sometimes I find if you work on the edge of a table, it kind of helps with the. Uh, and you don't hit your hand on the table when you're flexing that blade. And that works a lot quicker. And you're up here, you're always working against the table. Now, the belly meat, you can take that out if you want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. On these bigger ones, I sometimes do. Simple enough. This one's pretty healthy and clean, so I'll take it out of there. I just cut back along the edge of the ribs. And uh, I just use the table to my advantage here. Lay it on the table and basically the same thing. There you go. That is one clean cat.
So, as you might have seen, I used my thumb to scrub that silver uh, membrane off the belly meat nuggets. If you scrape that with a sharp edge of a knife blade, it looks like mud. It doesn't taste very good. So I always remove that. Uh, gave them a good wash. Threw them in some salt water. We'll let them soak overnight. I'm trying to relax here. Uh, gonna let them soak overnight, and we'll go through the final process for cooking, and enjoy us uh, some nice fresh fish. Always an enjoyable day on the water. Hi, right, people. We'll see you in a few seconds. All right, so we got the uh, fish prepared. I'm not gonna go through how I clean this up. That's another video. I'll put a link at the end here. Yeah, we're just using some Andy's Cajun. I like the spice. I got the grease hot. And we're just going to... Uh, Get my little coating. I normally don't egg my fish. That's for the. I got some squash out of the garden here. Gonna have with it. All right. Well, now we're just gonna fry that up. Starts floating. It's done. Been a stormy day out there today. A little wet on the banana tree. Boys are doing a Netflix and chill. <laughs> uh, some of that's coming to the top. I'm gonna get it out of there. Fish is really delicate, so as soon as it's done, you wanna get it out. You don't want it dry. Doesn't take long. All right, now I'm gonna get my squash in there, and then I'm gonna show it to you. All right, that piece of fish here. Back out in the shop. Kids got the TV cranked. Ah, oh, nice and white. That video I got up, if you clean your fillets like that, it gets rid of all that, the red meat on the lateral line, that it turns kind of gray when you cook it. it that's where you get your funky taste from, from catfish. So if you remove that, it gets rid of a lot of it. Um, leaves you with white meat. This is sometimes where a, uh, just a nice vinegar-based sauce comes in handy. See me eating a lot of them $10 a bottle sauces, but good old Tabasco, pretty good on fish. It's good, folks. Something else I like, a little malt vinegar. A lot like Long John Silver's. Garden squash. Been eating that since I was a kid. Grandma got me hooked on that when I was little. So good. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I enjoy it. I get to eat fish and go fishing. Speaking of fishing, I got a couple weeks I got a camping trip coming up. Just me and Miss Complainer. We're gonna see if we can catch a bunch of fish. I haven't got to do much fishing this year, just been busy. We're trying to work on the pontoon. A lot of stuff going on, so. That's good. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. I haven't done a catch, clean, and cook, so I thought it was time.
I shall return. In the meantime, keep it spicy. Get outside, enjoy this weather for uh, winter comes back. Love the sunshine. All right, people. Let me give you another shot of this. Look at that. So check out my other video. If you uh, want to learn how I do my final prep before I actually cook fish or freeze it. <coughs> and I've got a couple fishing videos. Got I'll put some links up here. Got one that's close to a million views. So check it out. All right, people. I'm going to see y'all later. Catfish Redneck signing out.